well guys this is the sixth tutorial the series creating a notepad application using visual basic 6.0 okay in this video i will code this open function and i'm really excited for this video because i've not taken any preparation before i'm going to think in this video and i'm going to code it well don't think i'm lazy actually i'm too lazy to think before and then code again um it, it may be the case who knows but okay let's begin so we to create the save function well <coughs> As I discussed previous, like the last video or the video before, well, the first time instead of the save function, the save as function would would get executed. Okay, so we need to put a check, like if save as was executed before or not. So dim is save as executed executed as integer okay well initially this variable would be assigned to zero okay now if if our save as is clicked then this variable would be one if this is one only then the save function would work otherwise the save as function would be called it means something else as well let's name this as dim file name as string there okay now uh, for the save as instead of name let's write it file name I'll tell you in a moment why I'm doing all this so file name for output as one whatever 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 close okay fine well why have I done this well if initially the user clicks on save instead of save as what would happen is the save as prompt would open up and from there the file name okay the file name would be stored as a global variable then that variable can be used in the save function for saving the file okay so let's see how okay if this is equal to zero then something will happen and end if i always begin and end these functions because i know it can be a real mess at times so if this is zero then this will be executed no semicolon sorry this will be executed save as click so first time this is getting executed else something else oops 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 expect is equal to oh my god okay how to call a function in visual basic well uh, let's pause this video because i don't know exactly how to create a function how to call a function in vb so let me find it out and i will get back in a sec okay here i'm back um, it took me about just five seconds to find it out but i didn't want to waste any time so the thing was we had to write call call followed by the function name call this function okay well if you try to compile it uh, i mean run it there's going to be an error well this thing this assignment it cannot take place outside a function so we have to write this inside a function and that function would be 
on form load so on form load this thing would be assigned okay let's click on run so initially something is here and i click on save instead of save as so the save parameters opening opening up save dialog box opening up so test for this time and click on save this is getting saved i i, I suppose so this is test 4 now let's change the content to something else like anything let's change it now let's click on save okay technically it should be saved let's see uh, i should close this and reopen it actually well this is not getting saved and why is that because we have not done anything to save this okay <laughs> so so if this is zero we are calling this function else something else and that is this thing open file name for output as one print one this 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 up to this Just copy it and paste it here why i am copying and pasting well if the save as function has been executed once then we just have to save the contents in the file right so i'm opening the file name that's there that's defined above for output as one then print in this file the contents of text area dot text and close one okay so let's run it once um something is here initially then i'm clicking save as test 5 i'm saving it let's open it so this is test 5 this is here now let's change things here and click on save this should also change but we have to open it again again okay as you can see it got changed the contents got changed so save operation is working okay now this one more thing that's left to do that is file open whenever I click on open this show open open file caption at this moment before removing all this we have to save it so call the save function what's the name of save function is save click so just copy the name so call oh shit save what does it click call save click okay so let's try it once anything something's written here and then i'm clicking on the open function not defined amazing let's check it why save click obviously i think it's a capital s uh should have copied the name oh god come on what was the name what see oh shit i don't know what happened here okay there's something really really bad going on yeah okay save click here right so copy this and go to your open thing where are you open open here then call this thing okay let's run it writing something here then clicking on open okay save function is getting called and since um is that the save as run is zero so save as function is getting called now amazing right test five it was now test six okay now um, it's asking us to open the file 
I guess. Oh shit, there's a problem here. What's the problem? Uh, call text is. Uh, oh shit. Okay, I got it, I got it. What I have to do is. Well, the C function will occur before. Okay, no, just hold on. Yeah, um, okay, the C function will occur before the show open function is executed. That was the problem. So, let's try something here and let's click on open. So as you can see, save as so save as now. Test seven. Save now. The open thing is coming up. So test. Let's see six. So this is our text six, and it's working absolutely perfectly. So our Notepad application is more or less running well. This. This this three menus are working perfectly. Exit is also working. Now yeah, we have to we have to design this new new record this new tab. After okay, help is also working. Uh, is it not yet? Okay, help will work. It's pretty easy. And then font. Now I don't think it would work. Font. I've not coded it. I guess. Well, our notepad application is more or less over. Uh, okay, this is a font dialog box. Uh, is it working now? Is it working? Oh my god, font is working indeed. This is amazing. I don't remember I coded it. Okay, font is working. Amazing. Okay, so font is also working. Perfect. This is perfect. Absolutely nice. This is good news. So. Our notepad application is more or less on the verge of completion. I will need maximum two tutorials to complete this. After that, you will have your very own notepad application. How awesome does it sound? Well, you can improvise this, you can edit, you can add more features to this, and that's it. Um, since it's a nice project, it's a valid application, I personally like this. I will I will put a link at the bottom of at the bottom in the description that will be a github link and you can get this file actually you can get all the files I personally like this so I hope you also like this and do give a thumbs up thank you so much take care